Hi Bailey, this is Grandpa. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is lesson one, and what I'm going to show you is how to make some basic spreadsheets, and this is called a spreadsheet. And this could be used for a lot of things. I'm using an example party supplies, and over here you see I made, or I copied off the internet a list of party supplies. What we're going to do is we're going to take this information and put it into a spreadsheet. And you can use this for anything. You could use this for making a grocery list for your mom. You can uh, make a list of school supplies needed. You can make a list of chores that need to be done around the house or the farm. Um, you can you just use your imagination. But to start off with, let me minimize this. To start off with, you want to open up your Microsoft uh, Excel. Now you should have your icon on your desktop. If you don't, uh, it'd probably be a good idea to put one on there. And if you can't, if you don't have one right now, you can go down here to start, go to all programs, you're, you'll find it, or it could be even listed right here. So anyways, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to double click on that. Try to get mine to open. There we go. It's being cantankerous. And then, before you start, so you don't uh, get all the way through and then accidentally delete your information, you want to go to File, Save As, and you want to save it to your desktop. And then you'll save it, let's say, Party Supplies. Oops. and then you're going to hit save and then um, it should show up on your desktop now I've already got one started so I'm going to go ahead and delete this and open up the one I got started and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you this file and the, the video of course because you're watching it now and it's going to have just this on it and you're going to make your own but I'm going to show you right now step by step how to make this so first thing we're going to do you're going to have this and let's say up here you're going to type in party oops B -A -R -T -Y. okay you, that's all you're going to do for right now okay and then you'll see that we're going to turn that into that later on but what we're going to do right now we're going to number them. There's 16 items here. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks on numbering. You can, you can do the hard way. You can do one, enter, and it'll go down. Next one, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five, enter, all the way down to 16. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to do one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, and we're going to stop. And then we're going to highlight it. Now you see the white cross that means it's in highlight mode so you're gonna go to the first one hold down the left button on your mouse and drag it down like that and let up so that highlights the first three then if you take and you put your cursor to the corner you see how that turned into a black skinny cross as opposed to the white fat cross you go to the skinny one hold down your left button and drag it all the way down and you'll see it shows you the numbers seven eight nine we're gonna go all the way down to sixteen and then we're gonna stop and that's that's called auto that's called autofill and what that does is if you had like a thousand numbers to type in it would take you all day to type them all in but if you just start the first three and use autofill it'll fill all the way down it's a lot quicker okay and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the items like say cupcakes okay and we're just gonna click on the next cell and by the way these are called cells each one of these squares and you see that the top uh, has letters of the alphabet and then on the left side it has numbers uh, these are called columns and then these are called rows and we'll get into that more later on but right now I'm just showing you some 
basic stuff to get you started. And you see right here it says Cupcakes 22. So let's just do 22. Okay, we're going to hit enter. We're going to go to the next thing. We're going to type in apples. And then you see apple says, oops, it, it would help if I spelled right. And then 10. And then you see Hopefully you can spell better than me when you type fast. Hot dogs, 26. Uh, burgers, 20. Juices, 20. Uh, B A N A N. I when I was when I was in school, I didn't know how to stop spelling bananas. I just kept going A N A N A N A N. -A -N. Don't don't do that. Now, here's, here's something I showed you on purpose. If you make a mistake, it's easier to correct it up here. This is, this is your editing part right here. So you can just click up here, and then you can hit, hit backspace and delete whatever you need. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and start typing. So it's bananas, and bananas is eight. And we've got sodas. That's 24. Party hats. That's 28. Ice cream bars. 16. Now you notice when I typed ice cream bars, if you if you click on it once. You only see ice cream here, but you see ice cream bars up here. Well, this will show you what's actually typed in there, but this can't because it's not wide enough. Now, there's two different tricks you could do. One, you could, if you put your cursor, if you see, if you put it just on a letter, it, you get a down error. But if you put it right between two letters, which we need to open this up, you put, you get like what I call like, like a double arrow thing. So you you hold your left button down. And you just you see where it shows you the width, and you just drag it, say as far as you want, maybe right there, and then you see it. Now there's another way you could do it. Like let's say you can't see it now, if you hold it up here where you get that double arrow, and you just double left click real fast, it automatically puts it to the correct size. So that's just two quick uh, two quick tricks right there that you could use. Okay, next one is popsicles. 18. Oops, I put the 26 in the same cell. So you see, I went up there to edit it, and then I went to the next one and I put my thing in there. So these mistakes will show you how to correct your mistakes. That's important. So you see what now, right now, we got a, just a basic list here. And we want to make this look a little better. As you can see, like here, how it makes it look a little nicer. So let's work with the header. So let's go here, and you see we want to center this header from here all the way to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to A, A1. We're going to hold the left click button and you got the white cross and we're going to drag it all the way to here and stop. Okay, you let off. Then you go up to here, make sure you're in your home tab. There's different tabs, we'll go over them later on. But your home tab and then you hit merge center. And what that does is that centers it all the way across. Uh, and then we're going to say this here, the paint bucket, makes this whole area different colors. Like, right, if I just click on this, it makes it yellow. If I hit this drop down button, I can make it orange, 
hit the drop down button again I can make it green but I'm gonna make it yellow okay so now let's click off of and see what we got you see what we got it doesn't quite look like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this one more time and you can do two things you can hit this drop down and you can go to a different size you can go to 12 you can go to 14 and it shows you what it looks like when you hover over it okay let's say let's go to 16 or you could use this a with an up arrow a with a down arrow a with an up arrow makes it bigger a with a down arrow makes it smaller so let's do it about 18 there so let's hit B for bold and let's hit I for italicized and then you'll see that it looks pretty close to what we have here except maybe just a little bigger okay now everything's off centered here so what we're gonna do we're gonna click left click on this cell right here a a2 and we're gonna go all the way across while we're still holding down the left button on our mouse and then we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna stop then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on a down arrow and then where it says all borders we're gonna click on that then we're gonna go up to here this is the center if you if you just hover over it you'll see it says center says left and right so we're just gonna do center and look everything went to the center so we're gonna click off it looks blue because everything's highlighted but we're gonna click off and you see what we got here now this here alone is your basic list so now you could take that to the store and you can uh, use it for whatever you want but let's say this is originally quantity let's say you don't want quantity you want say this is what it's going to cost twenty two dollars for cupcakes ten dollars for apples so we're going to go up to here left click on our mouse hold it down and highlight it all the way down like that then we're going to go up to here to the dollar sign and all we're going to do is just click on the dollar sign and you and we click off of it you see it turned it all into money so like your necklace is going to cost twenty six dollars a horn is going to be thirty two dollars so it's going to be an expensive party so let's say you want to know how much all this is going to cost so you can ask your mom for the money so what we're going to do is we're going to make a total so we're going to go down here click on that and we're going to type in total and then we're just going to tab over and then what we're going to do I'm going to teach you how to do a formula so we're going to whenever you do a formula you always start with an equal sign so if you look down here on the keyboard right here is the equal sign so we're going to click equals okay and you see it's right there and you see it also shows you up here what it is and we're going to type in sum s u m and you see this will automatically pop up so what you do is you could either double click on it or you could just do your left bracket let's say if we double click on it you see it puts a left bracket on there now your brackets are right here right above the nine and right above the zero the nine that's the one that'll start the what you want and then this will end it this will close it this is open bracket and close bracket so yeah to get that you have to hit shift to get that but let's say we like before what we did we automatically double clicked on it and put it on there let's say we didn't have that on there so we just go down here and hit shift and nine and puts that in here so now what this is going to do this is going to highlight everything so you could do it the hard way you could type in everything here you could type in 22 10 26 down here to add it all up but that would be silly what we're going to do what's cool about excel you go up here and you just left click and hold it and drag it all the way down just to your numbers and you let go and you see it's going to add everything from C2 which is right here all the way down that's what these this here uh, two dots mean the semicolon to C17 and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift and zero and we're going to hit the closing bracket and then we're going to hit enter and look at that it added all that so if you took a calculator and you added all that you could see automatically that that's three hundred and fifty six dollars so let's highlight or let's make this bold to make it bold you're gonna go in here left click hold down your mouse uh, left button drag it over here go up to bold 
click on that and click off of it and then now you have your total so this is I'm gonna stop right now and this is basically all I'm gonna show you but I want you to play around with I want you to do this I want you to take a picture of it and then send it to a text and then I want you to just kind of play around with it maybe uh, make school supplies you know and just play around with it and you don't have to do the money you could just do quantity you could just say like pencils I need four uh, notebook I need two you can just put that in you don't have to put the dollar signs in. I've just shown you two different tricks now if you want to print this there's a couple different ways you can print this one you can go up to file now yours is going to look a little different you're 2013 this might be all green right here but you'll get the idea it'll all be listed hit print and then when you hit print you'll see this right here now you'll notice this isn't centered okay so what we're going to do I mean it doesn't matter I mean it still can it'll still print out but let's just make it a little more professional looking let's go back up to home okay let's go to page layout tab click on that and see right here where it says page setup we're gonna go over here to this little square down here this drop down we're gonna click on that first tab comes up would be page so we're gonna click on this where it says fit to leave that one alone we're gonna delete this one we don't need that so we're gonna leave it just like that then we're gonna hit OK whoops I should have went to the next tab sorry about that okay after you do that then we're gonna go to the margins and then we'll see where it says center on page horizontally which is this way and vertically which is this way we ain't gonna worry about vertical we're just gonna do horizontal we'll click on that then you can go to print preview and oh it took our party supplies too let's get rid of let's put this way out here let's I'll tell you I'll tell you what it, it's gonna print this so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna highlight this highlight everything then go to page layout this we went to fit to we left the one there eliminated that went to margins made sure it was centered now print preview oh, it's still doing that okay if this wasn't here watch I'm gonna delete this if this wasn't here then you go to print then you see it centers it so see I'm kinda of glad it didn't it did act up like this then you can see if this ever happens to you um, so basically what you're gonna do is move that out of the way and just do like I did go to page layout page setup here go to click to here leave that alone eliminate that one go to margins center it print preview and then you can just hit print and it'll print that out you can take that to the store and then check it off as you go to the store okay so this will be all for lesson one um, so go ahead and have fun with this make me a couple different examples just take a quick picture with your mom's phone send it to me and then um, I'll send you lesson two okay take care bye